All right, guys, we're back at Spartan Wraps for the 2019 first visual of the wrap thing of Bomber. Spartan Wraps, Sean and Justin. Sean designed it, Sean laid it, along with the help of Justin laying it. They laid it hard. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go see the car. Sean said it's super dope. I haven't seen it yet. And I'm really excited, so let's start making our way over there. Anthony, I think, is already inside. Hannah's behind the camera. Let's go, man. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Give me the grand entrance thing, I guess. Open the door. So Sean, Spartan Raps, Justin. Yes, sir. These are the two guys that came up. He did the car last year with the flames. He did the car the year before that with the flames. And this year, I know what the render looks like. I just haven't seen the car. I can't even say I haven't seen the car completely because I saw it with a couple pieces on because yeah. I had some issues. I had to come fix some stuff. But it's my first time seeing the car done. And done is like way different than some black label. Yeah, so definitely. What do you, you, you think? Hold on, no. What do you think about the car? <laughs> you like it? I love it. Honestly, it's my favorite version of his car. I think it's the meanest, and uh, it's definitely the turns me. Sean's always telling me he gets jealous of my wraps, I but do. what, he, what yeah. I keep trying to remind him of is that he designed it. He keeps giving them to me. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm gonna keep one of them. Keep one of these for yourself. Let so, me right. move back. All right. My foot's all messed up. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because I was trying to trade clips into that. Tell me what. I'll give you people the render. So this is the render. Sean came up with the black fading into white. You can call it an ombre, you can call it a fade <laughs> color. Whatever the heck you want. We maintain the red sparkles. Uh, stars from all the other years. The stars were on the first setup, the stars and stripes for my dad. And then we kind of maintained stars, stars just stayed in it. And then we had flames added into the rear end, all this other cool stuff. So, I've seen this. Ready? Yeah. Be ready to turn around, bud. Oh, dang it. Right? She's pretty. Who's is that? She's super pretty. Holy crap. You like it? It's so clean. Right? It's so shiny. Dude. On the chrome, I think compliments the wood is really good. That's freaking dope. Yeah. That's why I think it's my favorite. You guys put tire shine on that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaned your windows too. <laughs> no, dude, don't don't touch the plexi. Don't, don't touch the plexi. Don't touch the plexi, dude. Dude, it looks freaking good. Yeah, I love it. This is my favorite for sure. This looks yeah. mean. Yeah, this is definitely uh, the coolest version I would say of it. I mean, I guess yeah. we took some inspiration from like Japanese style drifting, you know, how they do the yeah. two-tone paint jobs and stuff, but we figured why not do it with wrap and kind of incorporate your streetcar vibe with your uh, race car, you know? Right, right, yeah, because you got a little missile mirror in yeah. the back, yeah. a little hill in the front. Exactly. That looks yeah. dope. I love it. I love the faded black and the rear. That's actually my favorite part, I would say. Yeah, the wheels definitely accent to all of the logos. Yeah. Like crazy. And then also when you're like smoking tire, the black will be really cool because it'll it'll show more through that than pop through the white. Yeah, smoke. on a white. So that's what I think would be really cool too. Is it'll, it'll kind of make uh, photos look a little bit more like yeah. dramatic, you know? Definitely. Dude, it looks good. Yeah, you like the hood? How we added that to you? you never got to really see that, huh? Oh, I never saw that. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, when we do kind the renders, we it. never really. Yeah, exactly. Really so we kind of just uh, freestyle the hood, but uh, besides that, man, looks pretty neat. You gotta start this Johnny up now, dude. I'm trying to see it rolling. Let's do it. Oh, I put in that new seatbelt so the YouTube doesn't know. But I got the seatbelt. These are the harnesses when we said we needed to pass tech. We got new ones and threw them in. So those are already there. It's a little loose. Just the loose in the latch. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, I freaking love this seat. Yeah, it's my favorite seat, seat in the world. Give it a second. She called. She called.
So uh, the car came out absolutely amazing. Sean did a great job with the design and then Sean and Justin both laid the wraps and it came out great. But I think what I'm a little bit more excited about than having my car done is having a new teammate for the 2019 season. If you haven't guessed yet, Nick Franco is a new teammate for 2019 when he holds your hips. <laughs> And uh, he drives this E36 <laughs> 1JZ powered car. We run a lot of the same stuff, BC coilovers, SLR angle kits. We're both on Excelra tires. Tire Street Proper, Street Fighter, Maxi Factory Heritage, now Spartan and Graphics. We're on pretty much all the same companies. You guys saw some of the driving we did at Grange together. Probably one of the first people I was willing to throw in on his door at Grange. I've actually never mm -hmm. done that at all with anybody. But watching him drive, the consistency, the smoothness, and the way that his car reacts is very, very similar to the way that mine's set up. Uh, his driving style is very close to mine. And so it just made sense for us to partner up. I'm doing two series this year. If you don't know, we're going to be competing in the Drift League. And then when we head over to Top Drift, we're going to be pitting with uh, Nick. And we're going to be partnering up, tandeming, practicing together, and helping out with just the advice back and mm -hmm. forth, car setup, things like that, and tire pressures, because we'll be on pretty much the same setup. Mm -hmm. Difference is 1J. And LS. Yep. <laughs> but there's a lot to help out. I mean, yeah. lines on the track, qualifying runs, all that stuff we can help each other out with. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'm stoked. The cars yeah. look killer. They yeah. killed it on the wraps. When we drive together, we have a really similar driving style, so it just flows, flows, and works really well. The cars are going to look great together. We'll be in the pits together. So, yeah, it's going to be an awesome year. Hopefully, get some success. Yep. It's going to be dope. Stay tuned. We have a new show. Yes. We, a new we have show a, coming out. We have a new show coming out. Yep. It's called Tub Time with Michael. <laughs> and uh, you can kind of guess and start guessing in the comments. on. You're going to want to watch like. it though. You're going to want to watch it. It's going to be a good one. I yeah. interviewed Nick in my new setting. Um, <laughs> and we're going to be bringing on other drivers such as Sheldon Elliott, Sean Illingworth, potentially Toppy Slocko. Uh, <laughs> we got to get him out of that Rod Knox Z. At least yeah. with a Z with no Rod yeah. <laughs> But it should be a fun series. But this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. So thanks for partnering with me. Yeah. Season. And well, it's going to be a good one. The team. Also, we are going to be doing a Q&A video. So yes. if you have any questions for us, the cars, why we teamed up, the season, whatever it is, put it in the comments. Let us know so we can make that video. This is why we're teaming. So I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs>